Hi friends, uh, this video is about the chain actions in dynamic blocks. Let us see what it is all about. So I have two rectangles here. Okay, so I am going to create a block out of it. Create block, give a name, pick point, somewhere here, open in block editor. Okay, now here I am going to add a linear parameter. Okay, so the grip, let me put it one, so I just need it only on one side. Now, as we all know, if I attach an action to this parameter at this point, and if I stretch it like this, select it like this and okay, save changes, so you can see it works perfectly fine. Okay, it is stretching now. But what is this uh, chaining actions all about? That's what we need to see today. Let me delete this action. So for that, I am going to add one more linear parameter here for this inner rectangle. Okay. Suppose I am putting a linear parameter here for this inner rectangle like this but doesn't matter actually whether a grip is there or not let me just put it zero you can see one grip is there for me to control it outside the block editor and i am going to add an action to the uh, this this parameter distance one okay stretch and select this parameter at this point and i am showing the stretch window including that distance to the parameter distance two okay and when I am selecting, I am selecting everything, including that distance too. Okay. Enter. So now the elements selected for this stretch action is this rectangle, this rectangle, and this distance. Everything is there in this now. Or maybe let us put it this way. Modify selection set. I will select it like this and I am going to take out this okay remove i don't need this rectangle i am selecting only this rectangle and this parameter this distance to parameter okay then i am attaching a stretch action to this second parameter here okay like this and select this rectangle here inner rectangle so now two parameters are there each parameter is assigned with a uh, stretch action okay and this this is stretching this rectangle and this should be stretching this rectangle okay finish now go back there to the model space and just pull it and check now this is not stretching right because even though the parameter is stretching the action is not associated with that uh, first parameter this one so that is where if suppose you want to stretch this inner rectangle when I am pulling this grip the outer rectangle when I am stretching it if you want the inner rectangle also to be stretched then this action should trigger this action which is associated to the second parameter which is in turn stretched by this stretch action here so that is where you have to use chain actions so if i select this and go to my properties here okay my properties it is hiding here okay so if i go to my properties and if i select this parameter you can see chain actions it is saying no so if i turn it to yes and save the block now you can see this stretch is also happening along with this stretch you see so this is what chain action means so this is that option which is controlling it so for that what you have to do is you select the parameter go here under miscellaneous category you have chain actions so basically it is telling if any changes is made to this parameter by something else some other parameter whether it has to perform the actions 
which are associated to that parameter that is what chain actions means okay hope you understood thank you i will come up with another video sometime later um, i am planning to do more videos on dynamic blocks so keep tuned and kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed my channel thank you